Hey guys, today we're going to talk about a very famous pro magic player, Oliver. Um, Oliver was at GP Providence and he was disqualified at round at the end of round 15 for taking a bribe. And bribing is quite interesting as defined. There's certain words you cannot use that will trigger disqualification and there's certain ways you can essentially get the same benefits as a bribe without being punished. So I think this really comes down to the, to the rules not being clear as to what is bribery and what is not. So just after the rounds began, his opponent conceded to him. They investigated the concession because a judge nearby heard the two of them mention PayPal. Had PayPal not been mentioned, this would not have been investigated. Had they just said, oh, well, you know, I'll catch you later. We'll talk about it later, which I assume is what happens most of the time. It would not have been investigated. So they interviewed both players. Each player gave a different version of the story. Essentially, Oliver wanted the pro points. He really wanted to get points and he needed his opponent to concede so he could get those points. Now, what was said was obviously not rehearsed, and this is probably not one of his friends or someone who is in the know. So whenever you, the only time that you have this situation come up is when it's a pro, Oliver, and a non-pro, which is in this case, the person who conceded. I'm sure that the person who conceded probably used the incorrect phrasing, not the secret language that is currently used and probably mentioned that he was going to get paid. So Oliver's narrative began with a conversation, but establishing he was interested in the pro point while his opponent was not. He didn't ask his opponent for a price split. When the two statements were combined, they created the strong implication that Oliver desired, desired his opponent to concede and that there was a financial benefit, the price split, for his opponent to do so. And under their official policy, it is bribery. Now, I know many stories um, from pros who split. Splitting is totally fine in my opinion. It offsets the risk and is something that both players who can decide to do. Um, it's well within their right to do so. But it's kind of like they're punishing Oliver for catching him splitting with a non-pro and the non-pro doesn't have the secret handshake if you will to make it so oliver is not disqualified uh, very sad you know i do like oliver i think he's one of the best players if not like definitely within the top five magic players currently and it's really sad to see this happen but um if you have an opinion leave it in the comments below do you think pro you feel like pro players should be able to do this or do you feel like this is against the spirit of the game anyway bye guys